Here is one of my all-time favorite psalms, Psalm 45, 1 through 2. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made, touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, God hath blessed thee forever. Amen. I've realized that in life, we have to go through pain in order to be pushed into our purpose. I've heard someone say a lot of purpose is birthed out of pain. The blog posts are actually um, inspired by the pages of all of these notebooks. There are three volumes of them. Actually seeking the Father's face about things in my life and hearing his voice. Luke 8 and 46. And Jesus said, somebody have touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. It's amazing how in the midst of what is a seemingly tragedy in our lives, God has already gone before us and worked ahead of time. I think about Samuel and how he mourned for Saul, but God had already chosen a new king. First Samuel 16 says, And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil, and go. I will send thee to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. We are allowed to mourn over loss, but how long are we going to stay in that place of mourning when God is ready to do a new thing in our lives? It was in a place of mourning and loss that God sent in a man after his own heart, David. First Samuel 16 verses 17 through 18. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Then answered one of his servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him.